Welcome to Chicago Workshop. Uh, this video is just an in-progress video of uh, work currently on the boards. We are designing a um, approximately 1,600 square foot prototype that will be used uh, in several subdivisions across the country utilizing the Wally Wall framing system. A uh, very compact, simple floor plan. Uh, master bedroom, bath, closet, uh, pocket of the toilet, hallway, three foot six, just a little wider, a little generous, two-way doors, again generous, uh, 12 by 12 approximately, large closet for bedroom two, bedroom three, same size, three foot six hallway, laundry area, same eight foot of closet space, allocated nice big closet for the master linen closet um, the Jack and Jill setup for the two bedrooms uh, shower and this also is the powder room uh, kitchen very straightforward simple kitchen a little pantry pantries are really great a little closet water heater will be here uh, the whole thing will be heated with a infrared heating system uh, cooling will be provided by uh, individually zoned uh, PTAX, which are small little air conditioning units or zoned, a central zone, central outside, and then uh, we have different uh, ways to control the cooling in the rooms. Um, very straightforward system, slab on grade construction, no crawl space, uh, inexpensive to build because we don't have the cost of haul out uh, and site work, which is actually very expensive to uh, move that uh, dirt around so we have minimized that this is just a very affordable uh, rental property and we're trying to make it as attractive as possible uh, that's the floor plan um, okay we got the automatic rotate going around that's interesting let's stop that let's take a look at the what that would look like again uh, utilizing the Wally walls framing system uh, which is a metal SIPS panel high uh, R, R, R44 value and with all the extra stuff we get to our code required R49 um, walls R33 effective R value again metal SIPS panel consisting of a truss at 16 inches on center and styrofoam in between and uh, here we are. This is just in progress, uh, utilizing a uh, very low slope roof. We're, we're at the threshold of the asphalt shingle, which is the most cost effective. If we had to have to switch to a uh, metal roof for a low slope, it would be three times to four times as expensive. So this might be, we're talking maybe, ooh, eight grand and uh, if we were to do it in sheet metal anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars so um, don't want to do that if we're trying to make this a cost-effective uh, project um, glazing originally massive uh, glazing everywhere for the contemporary look and we've uh, reduced that significantly again to keep the cost down we're using inexpensive glass blocks, 20 bucks a piece at the supplier. Uh, very cute detail, very inexpensive. Uh, whole idea is just to create a lot of design interest without spending a ton of money. Uh, we are going to be spending a little bit of money on the glass for the outside, but this is where you, you live. These are the bedrooms. And we're going to have a nice yard, and uh, we want to... Uh, Move the indoors, you know, keep, move the indoors, outdoors, indoors, which is a contemporary idea, which is actually quite nice. All right, let's take a look at uh, what does that look like inside. Do we have an inside view? I don't think so. We should create one. Let's create one. Let's take a look at what that great room looks like. So we'll go to 3D, create perspective, full camera view, and let's stand here and take a peek at what that looks like from this direction 
something like that. And we can sort of scoot around the room a little bit. Oh, like that. Uh, okay. All right, here we are up on the roof. Let's get back down. Okay, something like that. It's a beautiful room. Very spacious. A great room. Develop the TV on that wall. Again, there's our little inexpensive glass block. And then everywhere else we have that uh, nice small ceiling. And um, I think that sort of explains the design. We still can experiment with different textures on the outside. Uh, here we have the board and bat and siding, a little subtle detail. The trim board will match the siding. Still subtle gray trim around it, just a very sophisticated color palette. We were experimenting with some more punchier schemes, but I think we're going to throw that out and just uh, stick to a more sophisticated style uh, as we develop uh, the design. So this is sort of an in-progress summary of where we are at.